Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a massive problem right now on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team because we've got shapeshifter content coming at us left, right, and center, and some of these SBCs that are being released are requiring a certain type of card, and those card prices are so inflated on the market, A, people can't afford them, and B, people can't even get them because they are extinct on the market. So, we have some big problems right now in this game. I think EA would hopefully want to fix this soon, but I want to talk about this issue because it's going to be a problem throughout the rest of this week because content is still upcoming and will we see a big end of an era SBC today that might require some of those specific cards. So, we have a lot to talk about especially with not the icon pack we thought we were going to see dropped yesterday. So, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's look over yesterday's content really quick because we did get a good amount yesterday on Sunday as expected. We started off with another goalkeeper moved from goal into the outfield. We've got a right wing Bravo card and again a W from EA here with the crafting objective. I've even started to do a few of these not because I really want the Bravo but I kind of want the packs uh, working my way down this list. So I'm probably going to be grinding this shapeshifters crafting upgrade this week. Personally, 93 rated fodder is not too bad. Again, it's just like the Bomba. You could argue that it's less usable. So nothing super crazy there, but another goalkeeper there. Now, in SBCs, that's where most of the action was yesterday. And speaking of goalkeepers, yet again, how many more of these goalkeepers are we going to get? Like, we've had Neuer, of course. We had the insane check. But now we've got Emmy Martinez as well as a center back. Medium high, four star, four star. IMO, this was the best SBC yesterday. Really, I think it was. We'll talk a bit through that here in a second. But really good stats in here. You got great passing, great composure reactions, great strength. He's probably not going to be the most insane center back in the game, but power header dives into tackles. He's got 88 acceleration and 91 sprint speed while being lengthy. You can boost that up with an anchor if you want to, to make him even more pacey, or you can use a shadow as well to get the most out of this card that you can. And I love the price here. I really do. It's only one squad. 87 rated. Yes, you do need a team of the season player, which is what we're talking about today. The, this team of the season aspect of this SBC is making the price of this actually be a little bit false compared to what you see on Footbin. Footbin says 112,000 coins to do. And the fact that some team of the week cards and team of the seasons are ex as expensive as they are is uh, actually making this price a bit false because if you take a look at the solution here, you see an 89 Cancelo that is actually on the market at 37,000 coins. Um, but a lot of people, I think, are actually going and buying TOTS cards to get this SBC done because they think, oh, that's going to be the easiest way to do it, right? Go buy a TOTS card for like 60K and that's 91 or 92 ready, then fill out the rest of the squad. I think the cheapest way to do it is actually with the team of the week. Um, so this price is coming in at 120K, but a lot of people, I think, are spending more than that because of just buying a 60 or 70,000 coin TOTS card at once. So again, though, not a bad SBC, a fun one. But again, it's, it's starting to get a little bit old almost to me. I don't know about you guys. So many goalkeepers now have been position changed into the field that it's kind of like, okay, are we going to get some regular players? And I kind of caught myself thinking that today. I mean, I really love this concept and I think it is really, really cool. But uh, it's almost like, okay, EA, we get it. This is cool. And what's happening next? Because now we're like used to it, you know? So anyways, WSBC there from EA. Um, some people wish that it was a premium design. I think since he's from Argentina and in the Premier League, that's a top nine nation, top five league. I don't think there was a chance that they were going to give him a premium card, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about more SBCs, right? Yesterday we did have the icon pack. It just wasn't the one that we really thought it was going to be. The 90-plus icon player pick return, and this is not a brand-new SBC. We have had this one before. Now, the problem is, yes, it's not that expensive, but it's not as good as the 90-plus Brazil, France, or Dutch pack. And right away, when I saw this SBC dropped, I thought to myself, and we were talking about it in the stream, we really wanted that nation-specific pack just because that seemed to give out better players. Yes, this one's a player pick, but the weight on these, we opened a bunch yesterday. We have a, a YouTube video. I'll link it right up here right now if you missed that. Go check that out because we even got a little bit lucky, got some really good cards, but there's still a very like low end of a lot of prime cards that you can get from this pack. Um, 
and really kind of get shafted from this gamble pack. I really wish that we had the 90 plus nation specific because that one I think would have been a lot more fun. And I think people agree 16% upvote for this 90 plus player pick. And yes, you can do it two times. That's one of the only nice things about it uh, is that you can do it twice. It's not just a do it once and then you have to wait. So you could do it twice, but since this SBC was not that exciting and it wasn't as good as the icon pack we had last week, you can sell. If you take a look at fodder prices, they are down and uh, technically infestable again. We'll talk about that in a minute. They just didn't really rise that much. A lot of 87s went from like 12 and a half K to about 14,000 coins yesterday. But look, they're back down again. You've got weekend league rewards. They're going to be paid out early this morning. And it's just a bit of a bummer that we didn't have good enough SBC content to push up these fodder cards like we did last week. So in combination here, you see, right? 88 Navas went from 17K all the way down to like 15K. 88s are 15,000 coins, which is really, really low for being completely honest. Uh, but I think these cards are down a little bit extra because number one, you've got tradable supply from weekend league rewards. People are opening up uh, early in the hours today on Monday as the rewards are given out. And of course, you probably have some people that invested that are seeing the prices drop and they're selling as well. So that's kind of the reason why you're seeing these fodder cards. Like, look at all these. Not all of them, but some of them. Zero games played with multiple owners. That's an investor. So um, you have a little bit of that going on there as well. And hopefully those card prices pick up during this week a little bit more. That's kind of the hope. Because, right, right, you've got a lot of your supply on the weekend and a lot of your demand hits between Sunday and Wednesday with player SBCs, icon SBC, it's still available, right? People could be doing this during the week with upgrade packs, like hopefully the 81 plus player pick returning today. So if you bought fodder and didn't sell it yet, I do think prices will rise a bit during the week. And hopefully more player SBCs like that big end of Monero Conte might push the fodder a little bit higher if there's more demand there. So that's what I would say for fodder at the moment. Uh, it just it rose a little bit yesterday and then went down just because the hype of that player pick just was not there. Now, personally, I did have a pretty good player pick. The first one, uh, I was able to get Del Piero. So that was kind of nice that I was able to get that one in there. I forget my second one. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Bobby Moore. It was not good. So I was able to snag this Del Piero, which wasn't bad. I'm excited to try him out because I haven't used Del Piero like all year long. But not that amazing regardless for most people doing that player pick. So uh, also mini release of cards and packs, Taliso, Adiemi, and Ochoa. There's not much to talk about here because, I mean, honestly, guys, Adiemi is the best card th that was released yesterday, and he's 60,000 coins. Um, Adiemi and Ochoa are both like 60 to 70K, and it's just kind of like a bu bit of a bummer. I wish Adiemi had five-star skills or a weak foot. Um, 92 rated for him, 93 for Ochoa. It just seems like EA didn't boost these cards up that much. So fun to try if you're a fan of Dortmund or Adiemi. But a little bit disappointing for the stat boost on those cards there. And with that, I want to talk about, you know, today going forward and the content that we brought up at the beginning of this video. The problem, right, with the content that is being released right now, it is with Team of the Season cards. Now, some of you guys may saw, have seen the prices on Team of the Season cards at the content drop yesterday. Guys, all Team of the Seasons right now, 65,000 coins on the market as I make this video. All of these TOTS cards, yesterday when the Icon Pack dropped and when the SBCs refreshed and everything, peak of the demand in the middle of the day, these were 80,000 coins on the market. Yes, 80K for TOTS cards. They hit that crazy high price, which is what they hit last year, right? And we were wondering from the beginning when we invested in TOTS cards like three or four weeks ago, we were like, hey, are they going to do it again? Are they going to hit 80K? And they did. Now, this is the problem that EA needs to fix, right? This cannot go on forever. Number one, like we said, it's making SBC prices unnecessarily expensive because you're going out and, and people think they have to spend 65,000 coins on a TOTS card uh, to get an SBC done, whereas you shouldn't have to spend six. None of these cards are worth 65K. Klaassen, Zinchenko, Vigor, none of these guys. Vigoro, none of these guys are worth 65,000 coins in the slightest, right? These guys were like 30,000 coins or below that even before all of this demand came in and these cards were required. It's honestly just a tale of EA being lazy. It's a laziness issue from EA. We knew, this is why we invested way back when, about a month ago, because we knew EA was going to require these cards in the SBCs like they do every single year. 
But what we didn't expect to have happen once again is them to require them over and over and then also not give out these cards. The five times daily repeatable Tots pack that was supposed to be in this game every day during Ultimate Team of the Season didn't get re-released because it was glitched and there's compensation that we're still waiting on. Can't believe I'm saying that. Still waiting on that compensation. So when that happens and if they bring that SBC back, that could help out prices a little bit. But it's just crazy to what these prices have gotten to. If you sold these cards yesterday at 80k, big W. Could they go up a little bit more again today? Um, I don't exactly remember if there's a TOTS player requirement in the FGS playoffs upgrade. Let me check this really quick. I don't, I think there is actually, there might be. No, uh, it's an Inform or a Tots player. That's right. That's what's making Informs go up as well. They could go up a little bit more today, but guys, I have to think that that 80K price point was probably the peak once again. It all just comes down to compensation because as you can see right now, prices are back down to about 65K. Um, and I know some people yesterday were buying them to sell them at 80K and uh, and that's that happened really well. But you're seeing some tradable supply hit the market because people were getting like 91 plus E-Figs, Tots, three players packs tradable from Weekend League. And, uh, you know, that's where there's, you're seeing some of these fresh ones come on the market right now. But it's a crazy situation and people are not able to get SBCs done because of it as well, right? You know, let's say if you're trying to do the Emmy Martinez SBC and you don't know better that you can buy an inform for 40,000 coins, you think, oh, I got to put in a team of the season in this SBC. Then you're going and spending 65,000 coins and making that SBC more expensive than it has to be um, just because, you know, the TOTS cards are so overvalued and so expensive there's so much more demand than there is supply so yeah it's just not smart to be dishing out seventy thousand coins a pop to be putting one of those into an spc as well and that's why ea really the way to fix this is put out that five times repeatable tots spc it doesn't even have to be every day right put it out so that we can do it five times a week or maybe once per day right that's all you have to do ea uh, obviously, you guys know which SBC I'm talking about with the TOTS compensation that we are still, yes, still waiting on. This was tweeted out on June 12th. We are uh, somehow, what, over basically two weeks now. We are basically two weeks-ish um, from beyond that. And it's crazy that that is where we are at right now in this game is waiting on this compensation in the coming days, aka C when September. I responded to this tweet then and it seems like it's holding true now. If they brought that SBC back and they did compensation, that would help out so much with this problem. Now, the reason why we're bringing this up and the reason why it matters is because it might matter today for content on Monday. And that's what I want to touch on next because we mentioned it quickly uh, and we've talked about it before when it was first leaked. But the end of an era and Golo Conte is still leaked and we have no other player SBC leaks as of right now. Not a guarantee that we're going to get one today. But if they were to drop this SBC, you bet there would be a team of the season requirement inside of this for some of the probably 88, 89, maybe even 90 rated squads that could be a part of a really high rated really massive Conte end of an era SBC and you're going to need some of those cards for it so that's why I'm not saying to go out and invest in those TOTS cards if EA does not do compensation if they don't bring an SBC like that back or somehow supply TOTS cards yes if Conte drops today these guys could go up so it is a bit more of a risk um, I mean these guys are getting supplied a bit 64k is I think lower than where they were last night so if you want to go for it it's not the worst Thing in the world to try and go and uh, make a, co a quick flip investment on just make sure that if you're buying a tots card to do something like that that the price range of the tots card you're buying is high enough so that it can actually rise some of these guys have max prices of like 65k or 60k you'll see undercuts here so make sure you're not buying one of those and buy one that can actually go to like 80 90 000 coins so that's one thing that I'll mention there. Again, I'm not guaranteeing that Conte is today. Guys, for, for content today, uh, last week we had the 90-plus Brazil icon upgrade. Maybe they dropped two icon upgrades in a week. That seems a bit too far-fetched, but hey, you never know. They did it last Monday. Uh, they dropped that icon pack then. Today might be a really quiet day on Monday, uh, besides hopefully the 81-plus player pick returning. Now, I mentioned I've got the Shapeshifter crafting upgrade that I've been starting to work on. I'm sure some of you guys have been doing it this weekend as well. And honestly, I, I don't even care about turning in rares to this because rares and non-rares, just like we saw last week, if they drop the 81 plus, they're all going to be 700, 750 coins anyway. So you could get a little bit ahead of the game by buying some non-rares and buying some rares today. 
if you wanted to go ahead and do that. I've also got weekend league rewards. I got my 11 wins. We're going to open those on stream today. Um, let's check golds really quick. How much are these guys right now? I mean, wow, they're still all 650 anyway. So yeah, literally does not matter if you're buying rares or non-rares to put into that SBC or the player pick because they're all going to be going for the same price this week. Um, so watch out for that 81 plus player pick. I hope they just simply F5 refresh the same SBC that they had our last week because that was nice that it only required, uh, I think, was it seven players? Yeah, that was amazing. So I really hope that that returns today for sure. And then, guys, we got to talk about the market as well. I know a lot of you guys might be like, Nate, why are we talking about the market in these days, in this time of the year right now? Well, I want to help some of you guys out because I think there's some potential, actually. There was a trend last week that we saw with Monday and Tuesday content being a bit slow. There might be that same trend this week, and it has to do with the shapeshifter cards. If there is anything in packs that you're like, I really want to try out, Nate. A couple of these cards that you're like, Nate, I really want to buy a Neuer. Really want to buy, maybe it's Martial, maybe it's De Young. Any of these middle to low tier cards that you want to try out in your team this week. Last week, there was kind of a fluctuation, kind of a period between Monday and Wednesday, where a lot of the shapeshifter cards in packs actually rose. If you take a look at the daily graph, Depay last week was his lowest on Sunday, Monday, 420,000 coins. He was 470, 460, 470 by the time Wednesday came around because the content was pretty slow last week. Yes, we had upgrade packs, but it definitely was not that insane. And uh, you take a look at guys like Geraldo Becker as well. He was lower rated, so it's not as big of a rise, like 66 to 70,000 coins. Um, I think Rudiger as well had a good rise. Rudiger went from 478 all the way to 530k in a two-day span. So all I'm saying is that same thing might happen this week with some of the shapeshifter cards. So if you want to try a Neuer, if you want to try an Anthony Martial, both of those cards have been fluctuating really well. So if you're doing it just from an investing slash trying to make coins perspective, that's one place to look at, right? The cards that move up and down the most are usually going to be the ones that are the best to try to trade with during the week. Rudiger last week moved up down a lot. Depay did, and you saw their graphs, right? They moved pretty well. So I would keep an eye on those. Maybe some of the icons as well. De Jong, Usman Dembele, potential there as well. Uh, these guys are a bit expensive for my liking just to try to flip and make coins on. Um, but, you know, a lot of cards in this team people want to try out. Richarlison being Brazilian with 5-star, five 5-star. Five just played against him in one of my last weekend league matches, right? Neuer, of course. I feel like Neuer has taken a bit of a backseat in height because of the Czech SBC and all the other goalkeepers that have been released. But still something worth watching out for there with that card. So all I'm saying is the middle to the middle to high tier on these kind of um, shapeshifter cards. I would specifically say, again, Martial. Um, Neuer, Richarlison, maybe Zaha as well, um, just because he's got the premium links. Yo, he's up 11K. He was 180. He was 170. Dang. Yeah, that was really low, right? I guess he's kind of been there through the last day or so. But just keep an eye on these guys because they might have some rises into today. And then those rises might continue into the latter portion of this week, depending on what content is, of course. If they drop like insane content today, that would definitely change. But I just kind of wanted to point out that trend for you guys because... I do expect prices to be moving on these cards. This Martial card moves like over 100,000 coins each day. He went from uh, a million coins yesterday at content to like 1.1. If he drops down into the low to mid 900s tonight, I might just have to pick one up uh, because he's a card that I think I would keep an eye out on. And then I'm still watching that Antonio Rudiger card because yes, he is down from where he was when he left PAX. Um, he was like 520K. Now he's like 470. And a lot of people are starting to get level 30. We opened a couple level 30, 84 times 30s on stream yesterday. Uh, another, again, another plug for the video if you didn't catch it. Um, that was in there as well. And a lot of people are using this Tony Cruz because Tony Cruz is 1000% the best choice here at level 30. If you're trying to decide what to do, take Tony Cruz because this 8430, uh, we got one lucky customer yesterday on a share play that got a Anthony Martial. But a lot of the other ones of these have just been horrific. So take the cruise. It's it's probably the only card, unless you're a Tiago Silva fan, that you're taking from this objective. Even at level 40, um, it's it's definitely this 85 times 25. That's going to be the pack to go with. Maybe the player pick, but probably not. Um, because we've seen how 90 plus icon player picks have been anyway. So yeah, that's definitely a card I would take is that Tony Cruz. And as more people go ahead and get him, yes, this Rudiger could see a bit of a, a rise up because... 
that Tony Cruz card is just as meta, if not more meta, than a lot of the cards that are out in this game right now. So, one last word on fodder. I feel like I want to cover this just again. Um, you did see some of these guys fluctuate yesterday. I know it's not pretty. I know it's not the easiest way to make coins, but 84s did go from 2.3 up to 2.8. They could do some kind of the same thing today. So if you want to try to pick up some 84s on a bid at like 2,000 coins, maybe some 85s at like 5 point, under, under 6K on bid for 85s seems, I mean, fantastic. These guys were all 7K. So there will be opportunities to make coins on fodder because these prices are just crazy cheap. Bid on 87s, 88s, and 89s today as well. And 91s are 29K. That is that is wild. These guys were all 40,000 coins last week. If we were to get an end of an era Conte, that's the real catalyst. If we were to get an end of an era Conte or something else that would require high rated cards, they would be starting to go up on the market, I think, pretty considerably uh, in terms of fodder. So that's kind of a Monday video for you guys today. Hopefully we get some good content. I'm going to open my rewards today on stream. I got to work on the cup matches this week and probably just grind through some upgrade packs and craft some of these objective uh, and get some of these SBCs done to try out Martinez, Sorloth, Umtiti maybe. Um, that's probably going to be the extent of my crafting this week. We don't have any SBCs refreshing today besides the FGS playoffs, but we will have another one tomorrow on Tuesday. So we'll talk about that and hopefully EA drop compensation. Like really, um, we really need it because Todd's prices are just crazy, crazy high up there at like 70 to 80K. That is ridiculous. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys on the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Peace out.